Uh, next question is for Governor Ige. Uh, you know, tourism has been essential to Hawaii, but the increasing number of tourists here is straining our resources and carrying capacity of the islands. Where do you see the balance between the rapid growth of tourism and maintaining the quality of life for local residents? Uh, do you think we can continue increasing both the visitor count and the population at, this, at the rate we're going? Um, no, I do believe that it is about uh, managing tourism now and really being focused on distributing the visitors to each and every neighbor island and county so that uh, each island can benefit from the activity. And I think more importantly, uh, the, the infrastructure is in better position to support them. Uh, it is about finding balance, uh, and I've supported and uh, committed to f using TAT dollars to invest in beaches and ocean safety. You know, we know that um, the infrastructure, the beaches, the natural beauty that brings the visitors to the island can be supported by the tourist tax. You know, and I also uh, preserve Turtle Bay, the largest um, oceanfront property uh, left pristine so that um, our community and, and the visitors could benefit from that. Um, uh, beach access. So it really is about balance, about investing in infrastructure to support the visitors and residents alike. Congresswoman Honabusa, the same question. Thank you. But before I get to that question, I want I don't want the Kapunas to be confused. Seventy dollars a day for one person, six hundred thousand maybe provides ninety people. That's that's it. So you really need you need to step it up. And as a governor, I want to step it up because I do believe that aging in place is critical. And like I said, this is something AARP and the legislature was their initiative. Tourism is our major industry. However, in order for us to continue to really benefit from it, we have to ensure that the natural resources, the beauty of Hawaii, which brings them here, is something that we do not abuse and we take care of. That is why the whole concept of Sustainability 2050, which was a program that I spearheaded in 2008 when I was Senate President, was so critical because we need to ask the critical issues. What is the carrying capacity of Hawaii, of our beautiful state, so it can continue to do so?